Hey guys, um, so today we're gonna learn how to make a FNAF vector on Scratch right here. Now, my FNAF vector is gonna be based on. Let's do Bonnie. Yeah. Let's do Bonnie. Uh, how about Toy Bonnie? Yeah. Let's see. Let's do Toy Bonnie. Um, so, I'm going to start making the head. Now, the head will be the simplest thing in your vector, actually, as it doesn't require much shape, but the features on the head, like the details, will be very important. So, we'll start with the head. Now, I'm going to pick this color, since it accurately represents a bit of a, like, a baby blue. Like a baby blue. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna move these little circles, which is going to help you uh, shape the vector. And now, shaping these little circles will help you a lot. But I also recommend you to use reference. Okay, so we're gonna put these inward and make a circular shape from the bottom. But we don't want to stray away from the design. So we're going to push these a bit up forward. And we're not very done, but we're close. Now remember, do not stray away from its design. And I do recommend you to use a lot, and I mean a lot, of reference. Now, and there we go. We did some good job right there. Now, let's go make. Now that we have like the shape of the head, this is its shape. Now, that's what you need to do with the shape. Um, now we're going to do the eyes. Okay, the eyes are not that big, but that's more the outline of what the eyes are going to be, so... I'm going to push these inwards, push this forward, push this out, push this a bit down, and right here. Now remember, do not stray away from the design. I recommend you that if you're doing a FNAF OC or something like that, I want you to please draw it first, like hand draw it, and then draw it right here. Um, and to be honest, I really do recommend that. Now, let's look at back the design. We're going to make this a bit ovular. Now that we have the, uh, what looks to be the, uh, the almost close to being an eye thing. Now we're done with what seems to be the outline of the eye. Now we're going to make the actual eyeball. The eyeball will be a bit big, covering up almost the whole socket. Almost, though. Because we want a bit of variety in this. Now let's move on to the, to the pupils. Now, I w now, to be honest, eyes should have so many detail. Like, so much detail, you have no idea. As eyes are also a thing. To be honest, everything needs detail to for drawings. Now, we're done with the first eye. But, we're almost done, I mean. Like, we just need to add this. And then just an eyelash, and we're completely done. Now 
Now let's shape that. Now we're gonna add four eyelashes to Toy Bonnie. Now that we're done with the eyelashes, we're gonna put the eyelashes, we're gonna group then, which is what you can do. Ungroup, and if you select them all in, you can group them. Now that we're done with that, we uh, group the eye all together. And now, and now what we need to do is flip this eye because we want this to be a bit accurate to the lighting or whatever. Now let's start by making the the nose. Gonna choose a bit above. Now, this might look a bit sloppy right now, but by the end, it's gonna look a, it's gonna look at least a good. Not by my standards, but you know. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna tone it down to it can be a bit visible, like this. All right. Not that we're done with the snout. We're gonna... In a word. We really need a lot of detail in this. Now we're going to add the freckles. We're going to push the head a bit up. And widen the snout a bit. I'm going to uh, size the eyes a bit right there. There we go. Now. Let's add, now, I'm going to choose a red color, and this is for the lighting, like, like how it's, the saturation. Now I'm going to put it a bit dark. Now let's widen the mouth a bit. We're going to uh, now add the little thing right here. And boy. Are we almost done? With the head, of course. Now, I, now this is gonna be a bit cut, cut a bit short. Part two will be the whole, the whole weight, the whole waist, legs, and arms. But right now, it's just gonna be what I just showed. I 
word in the mouth of it. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay, let's, okay, there you go. Now, uh, I'm gonna shorten it a bit from right here. We're so close to being done. Alright. Now let's make the, uh... Now, I see that Toy Bonnie has about four only. What's that, the two teeth right now? We're gonna push them down with this. Now, if you wanna send it all the way back, you press shift and this. But I'm gonna undo that. This is the undo button. I should really tell you more mechanics about this so you can actually do vector. But this is just the vector tutorial. Alright. Now you're gonna duplicate the chic. Put that back layer. No, oops, I opened up a tab by accident. No worries. Now let's make the eyebrows. Now eyebrows are very oh, wow. Now eyebrows are very simple. As they don't really take much work of your time. We're gonna squish it a bit. And we're done with the first eyebrow. Now we're gonna duplicate this. We're gonna flip it. And done! We're done. Yeah, we're done with its head. Let's group that. And now let's make its bunny ears. Now we're going to do this. One, two, three, four. Two. No, four. I'm gonna duplicate this, flip it over, edit it a bit.
All right. We put this a bit up. Now I'm gonna add the little mechanism from right here. And maybe I'm gonna folk maybe I'm going to add a little small details. They're not big, but they should be noticed. And just to add, and just to add it, I'm gonna put this ear a bit down to make it look like it's uh, leaning a bit forward down. I'm even gonna edit it a bit. Now that we're done with, the <laughs> oh my God, it's Ariel, our special guest star. Now that we're done, I'm gonna make smaller details on it tomorrow. Now, guys, the tutorial's done. Um, and so, yeah, this is how you make a perfect head. And goodbye, guys. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Um, if you want to see more content, then go to my channel. Bye. Oops. It's awkward. There we go.